Okay, we're looking at the Aputor A Lyra Digital Lavalier Mic. I hope I said that right. Anyway, this is a solution for those who bought the iPhone 7 or the 7 Plus and you no longer have a headphone jack to plug in an external lavalier mic to, which I've done reviews on my channel of a $40 lav mic that works great, but if you don't have that headphone jack, you can't use that. So here's an option. This is $129 shipped on Amazon, so quite a bit more expensive, but it does seem to be well made most importantly it seems to work great so you're going to hear a sample here at the end and it comes with two of these fuzzy things I like the gray one better and I put that on and it seems to go on nice and tight so it doesn't feel like it's going to come off some of my other lab mics I've had issues with that where I've had to take a little dab of shoe goo and actually glue them on so that they don't accidentally slip off and that's an option on any of these kinds of things. And I t tend to use the, leave the fuzzy thing on all the time because it doesn't really degrade the audio quality. And if it's on there, it's on there just in case the breeze starts kicking up. That will screw up your audio quality if you're out in a breeze. So these things really do a, a good job of knocking some of that down. There are other ways, of course, taping it under clothing and other more sophisticated ways to hide the mic and get rid of wind noise problem is when you put them under clothing sometimes that if you move and the clothing rubs against it you got to be really careful how you do that of course the experts know how to do that and by the way that's a USB-C plug on this this interface that it comes with a short little cord there's a close-up of the mic and that that metal uh, clip seems really well made but um, you're going to see here in a moment that um, it comes with a little jumper cable that plugs into the USB-C that then has a lightning port on it to plug in to your camera. And again, there's the fuzzy thing on, nice and tight, all the, slid all the way down, and seems to be um, well done. The whole thing seems to be executed nicely. There's that USB-C plug, and those go either way. They're ambidextrous, and so there you go. It's plugged in, and they do plug in nice and securely. To be on the safe side if you wanted to tape that on permanently, because you're never going to unplug this if you're just using it with your iPhone. You might be able to tape that um, down securely. And uh, here this comes with the Velcro to uh, keep this under control because it is about a nine foot cable thereabouts. Here we're plugged in. Now this is critical. Launch the camera app after you plug in the lightning port. When I, In my first test I did it the opposite. I launched the camera app then plugged it in and we weren't getting audio. So okay. here you're going to hear some live. audio on this uh, test. We are rolling, not live. And so here we go. I've got this microphone right here, and I got the fuzzy thing on just in case I was out in the wind. I always leave these on all the time because you never know when you're going to get interference with the breeze or something like that. So right now I'm about six feet away, nine foot cord or so, and I'm speaking in a normal voice. Now. One caution, I've already discovered that you want to plug this into the lightning port first, then launch your camera app. Otherwise, the camera app doesn't see it, and you're just going to be on the built-in mic, so you spent all this money for nothing. So cautionary tale, put your phone on the tripod, plug this in, then launch the camera app. If the app is running in the background, shut it down, plug in the lav, then launch the camera app. So I don't believe my Shure MBI mixer operates that way. I think you can plug it in hot. I've never had this issue with that one. So um, that is something to keep in mind. But let me know what you think. I'm gonna do another short clip with this unplugged and then we'll, you'll be able to tell which you think uh, sounds better. Hey, like, subscribe, share, do all those fun things. And now I'm going to roll in a clip of me just talking with the microphone unplugged. So we're using the onboard mic for the iPhone. And you're going to see, uh, I think there's a significant difference. And especially if you were in a windy environment, this would make a difference as well. But here you go. Okay, here's that clip I promised you with it unplugged. Here's the lightning plug right here. And um, obviously, this is not hooked up to the phone. So you be the judge which audio you like better.